35, Big 550 KTRS, all weekend long at the Funny Bone. He's a man who has not forgotten his roots, went to Kirkwood High School. Uh, you were a wrestler at Kirkwood High School, were you not? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Greg Warren's going to appear at the Funny Bone starting tonight through Sunday? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, tonight through Sunday. And you're staying at your parents' house? I'm not. I, uh, it's not comfortable this point uh, it's just i have is, weird hours and is uh, the bed too short for you or well, what yeah, yeah like my the only thing that the only place really for me to sleep is the basement and it's awful down there and, and my dad can't understand why i wouldn't want to go down there it's ter- there's bunk beds still right and uh and, and like my dad's a woodworking guy oh i love and, your dad yeah he's really good he's gotten himself really good but it's all Woodworking stuff. Like, right. there's, like, paintbrushes in the sink of the bathroom that you would use. Right. And he's like, why don't you sleep in the basement? It's nice. No, no. I'm not, I'm, it's not. Uh, you were on with Carney and uh, Killcoin last night. Yeah. Um, they weren't very funny. You were much funnier. Well, thank than, you. Thank than, you. Uh, I, 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 I enjoy those guys. Uh, but, uh, we have to have to call out um, uh, Guy Phillips. Kept you longer than he was supposed to. Did you not tell him that, hey, I have to get to Millhaven? You know, it just gets... Uh, it's gets all cloudy. Because he's not he's not that interesting anyway. I don't know why he would stay that long. <laughs> Man, but... it's, I've been on for five seconds. He's taking a shot at like three people. He's just this is not normal everybody. McGraw. <laughs> Man, he's really aggressive today. Uh, yeah. yeah, he's that way all the time. Anybody else you want to take a shot at in town? No, uh, okay, that, that, okay. that's about it. Yeah, We're yeah, done. Guy. We're done. Now we can go on. Greg yeah, Warren yeah. at the Funny Bone tonight. <laughs> um, how are things going? They're good. Yeah, thanks. I uh, I think. This is the first time I've seen it. I moved to New York yeah. uh, a little while ago. Right. And um, it's going well there. Good. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, is it better to be based out of there? Because you're traveling, so it's almost like you're... Yeah, I mean, it's the, it's the 180 days that I'm not traveling. Like, what am I doing? And those, it's kind of better to be based there for that. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was in New York uh, right during Christmas time, and I went to go see the midnight show at Gotham. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, do you go there a lot? Is that I, your that's home not club one or? of the ones. No, that's not one of the ones I I uh, go to very often. Which There's like I go to Dangerfields quite okay. a bit. Sure. And um, stand up New York was uh, was on the Upper West Side, and then uh, I also uh, I very rarely, but I, I I get to do the Comedy Cellar sometimes. Do you go like, and say, hey, I'm working on a material. Can you give me 20 minutes? Can you give me? Is that? It's how a it little works? more formal than that. Like every there's so many comics. Like there's a system. It's usually monthly. You you send them your availability. And okay, they and they sort of pencil you in kind yeah, of. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Last time I did a set at the Comedy Cellar, I went up after uh, Dave Chappelle uh, did about an hour. Nice. And, uh, yeah, yeah, and and he's unannounced, so the place goes insane when right. they announce Dave Chappelle. Like they people are going nuts. And then, uh, then they announce me, and it's uh, it's a, it's not really a similar response. Uh, yeah, they're not. They don't seem to be as familiar with my work as Dave Chappelle. Certainly yeah, understandable. Yeah, yeah, I don't. Well, I guess. Right, yeah, but now, I mean, but but I went to Gotham on the off chance that somebody would just pop it's in. It's not going to happen at Gotham. Really? Yeah, they're more of like they're almost like the funny bone here. Like it's more of a. Headliner, okay. sort of like uh, you know three act, uh, normal like right. almost show showcase or show club. Whereas uh, you know some of the other local ones like uh, Stand Up New York, uh, com- Comedy Store is where you're gonna see like Comedy Store is where the guys come in and work on material yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Because I thought I've seen you at Stand Up numerous times, and I'm not saying this because you're here, but you're clearly. Um, have grown as a comedian. You're you're established. You've been in all the uh, the shows. You're funny. You have your bits and the and you let the audience sort of in. And these guys were not very good. I oh mean, really? They all had the the same material. Every, there were four comics. They all were, were doing Match. dot com jokes. Oh really? Yeah. I was like, oh, this yeah. Is not. I didn't yeah. get it. I was. It might have been in, in midnight. Maybe they threw some local guys that weren't. Uh, usually, okay. there's pretty good comics yeah. there. Okay. Uh, yeah. Right. Uh, well, if you could call them and tell them that. That I I will I'm uh, better you, than those guys. I will. That's yeah, exactly yeah, right. I'd yeah, be like, Where, where's nice Greg Warren? Yeah. Oh, uh, no, Greg Warren tonight. I'm leaving. I'm yeah, out. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good you, point. You, I got a list of places you can call for that. You're also doing who? <laughs> <laughs> uh, You're also doing video shorts. What's going on here? Uh, well, I saw you in a couple of like video shorts. Yeah, no? yeah, yeah. I, I um, I'm one of the probably like the foremost people in the country at wasting money on the internet. Like I, uh, yeah, I can spend a lot of money. Like if you if you look like how much money you spend per view, like I think my ratio is higher 
than uh, than anybody. That's not the way the it's US. supposed to work. Supposed no, to be I don't think. Yeah, it's supposed to be the inverse relationship. I think. <laughs> right. But yeah, yeah. But I'm pretty good at that. Uh, yeah. who, who's who's doing your video production for you? Who's, well, who's directing all that? When I uh, when I do it, I, most of the stuff I've done, uh, the good stuff is Jay Kanzler, uh, who's a, a lawyer. Who's here. listening right now? By the way, is he? He yeah, just yeah. He, he just texted me. Oh, did he? Yeah, yeah. Ask yeah, him right. about he's his video you. shorts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's uh, <laughs> he's uh, uh, a lawyer here in St. Louis and a director. He directed a feature film. Sure. And, uh, uh, we did some pretty good ones. Um, uh, I think my favorite, one of my favorites, uh, one of the most recent was, um, it's based on this thing that when I was in high school, like you remember the assistant high school football coach? Yes. You know, like that guy that's been at the school for like 50 years and he, and he like, like he, nobody knows why he's there. Like it, it, cause he doesn't know anything about football and like. <laughs> Like and he all all he does is interrupt the head coach. Like the head coach would be this big guy giving a speech before the game. All right, guys, bring it in. Listen up. For some of you seniors, this may be the last time you ever play football. So I suggest you go out there and get guys. We need to get those permission slips signed for the banquet. <laughs> Cause there's 89 of you boys and only 11 of you have turned them in. That's not gonna cut it, fellas. <laughs> I love you guys, but we are not going to have a bike. Well, let's, let's get him turned in. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah I know that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And like, okay, Larry, thank you. Uh, guys, like I was saying, the only way we win this game is we leave it all on the field. You understand me? Leave everything on Oh, guys, when Coach says leave everything on the field, he is not talking about your football helmets. <laughs> Last week, five of you boys left your helmets just sitting there on the sideline, just sitting there, and it rained that night, and the decals came off, and guess who had to be the one sticking them back on? Not you, DeAndre. Not you, Devin. Not you, Steven. Me. Guys, I'm a football coach. I'm not a helmet sticker decal put her on her no <laughs> so like i had this thing like that a bit that i kind of right. did yeah. and then uh you know uh i asked jay could we make this into like a little movie or you know yeah. a short film and uh and he, you know he jay's got some connections in town jay's got brought in 17 cameras and yeah yeah storyboarded it yeah and- we went over to like uh where they that uh, minor league baseball stadium we use their locker over in illinois right yeah, yeah i don't know jay's got some mafia ties over there or something <laughs> yes he does he is <laughs> he, he, he is he is tied into the saw jay family yeah yeah, yeah 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 and uh so so jay uh jay got us like we got in there and we shot it and, uh, you know he, he does he does a nice job yeah good yeah. um and then uh what else is going on in anything anything we should know about uh, I had a CD that just came out. Actually. Oh, okay. Pretty, pretty, uh, pretty happy with that. Yeah, th- yeah, and then we can get that on, on Greg iTunes Warren. Or iTunes, Greg Warren Comedy, or yeah, uh, yeah, or else you know he, he could come by one this weekend. It's funny though. When you uh, go on stage, yeah, do you still get nervous? Um, not usually. Like unless there's like some stakes that there isn't normal. Like if um. Like, I, I did a Letterman audition the other day, and, you know, like, I get a little nervous for that. Right. Less than I used to. How, how does a Letterman audition go? Do you just stand in, in a room? No, no, no. Like, like they have a show. One oh, night. okay. They had a show at Caroline's in, in, in uh, you know, Times Square. And, right. Uh, they put up, like, 15 people, and, uh, you know. You, you, just, oh, so it was a show, and the, who's there's the an guy? audience. And, who's, yeah. the, who's the comedian? Who's the house comedian there? Uh, at, uh, oh, Eddie Brill. Yeah, yeah Eddie yeah, Brill. Yeah, yeah, Eddie doesn't book the show anymore. Oh, okay. But uh, they have, like, some young guys that uh, do it, and uh, it went great, so I'm kind of hoping that. Uh, but I, I got nervous. You know, I get a little nervous. Right. Uh, I would think. I mean, yeah. that's. Yeah, and TV, I, I, don't, I don't do TV often enough where it's normal, so I still get nervous for right. that. What about like so you're performing here in town. Yeah. This is your hometown. You're going to yeah. have friends, family. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, it's my favorite week of the year, man. Does it get a little, oh, you know what? That guy who never really liked me, you know, thought I was never going anywhere. Now he's in the audience. Now I got to really show him that I'm funny. I mean, is that any of that happened? N- n- no. No. Uh no, cuz uh I failed on so many different levels. Uh <laughs> and, in so, and, and on, on on big national stages I failed. Right. Uh, so like I can't really yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think I got it. Okay. I mean, yeah, you know, the, <laughs> like, uh, yeah, like, what's going to happen to me that hasn't already happened? Uh, Is there anything that's off limits to you that you don't talk about? Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm not, um, I'm not a very political comedian because I just, I don't really believe in, you know, like, okay, now every everybody's so polarized mm-hmm. in, in this country, and I have my own political views. But I'm like, I don't think people, I want somewhere where people can just, we don't have to fight. You right. Know? Like, so I'd rather not alienate 50% of the audience. What about um, sex? 
and and stuff like that. Not, you, you stay away from that stuff. Yeah, don't have a lot of experience with it. So uh, <laughs> yeah, I uh, yeah, I, talk, I talk about what I what, know. What you know, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, but uh, cursing too. I mean, cursing. <laughs> you don't you don't curse a whole lot. There's not no, a ton. Yeah. I mean, I can get if I do anything. I'm a pretty clean act, other than sometimes when I'm having fun, I'll get a little profane. You right. know, you'll you're, you'll hear an f bomb or two, uh, and uh, and I can go both ways on that. Like I can go crystal clean, but sometimes I just think it's a nightclub. It's you're gonna hear a little different than you would r- on the radio. You right. know, like so it's uh, yeah, it's it's not a I'm not a church act. But yeah, I don't uh, I don't talk a ton about that. When uh, Greg Warren with us, he's gonna be at the Funny Bone uh, this weekend. Uh, must see if you're busy, cancel it and go to the Funny Bone. See Greg Warren in that video, gregwarren.com. A couple more minutes are with you. But I love talking to comedians, and you're so nice and 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 honest. And it's so we love having you in, in studio. So thanks, buddy. You're welcome anytime. Oh, thanks, man. I always enjoy it here. Yeah, just yeah. as long as we're booked before. Um, uh, before Guy Phillips, uh, oh, Guy, yeah, yeah. Guy Phillips. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, I, yeah. I, I want Guy Phillips waiting for me. I don't want to be waiting for Guy Phillips. I understand. Yeah, we'll try to do. It. Yeah, yeah. Man, I've I've started kind of a war here in uh, St. Louis. Uh, this is yeah. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Um, do you go up on stage without any material and just start talking to the audience and sort of get a material that that way and just sort of sort of riff? There uh, seems it's like I don't plan on doing that because because that's sort of a thing. Believe it or not, it's like a very, it's like a skill, not an art. Like every comic kind of knows how to do it. Right. And usually it sounds, you think it's like, oh, this is, re- you know, really interesting. It's, it sounds like the same thing day to day. Like it's not all that original. Right. Now, if there's a seam, I've kind of learned if you, you, like just something happens, you know, take advantage of that. Right. You know, just sort of let so it go. So if it happens naturally, yeah, yeah, let, it, yeah. let it breathe. Organically, exactly. And it's taken me a long time to learn that. And I forget it sometimes because you, you just think, oh, it's about the material, and it is. But the the perfect show is it's about, you know, 70% material, 30% some sort of improvisation. Right. Uh, and I don't mean like fighting with audience members. Or, sure. You know, like that gets a little tedious, and it's like that's really interesting because when comics do do that, it's it's almost like it's played. It's like part of their bit, and it's yeah, like yeah, yeah, you know, where where are you from? Oh, great. Are you two married? Or are you dating? Yeah, yeah both? exactly. You know, yeah, yeah. Or the guy that'll ask some stuff, and then like, and then they'll like the, the, their whole next, you know, bit of material is based on an answer that that person gives, and and they don't give the answer right right, <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. so yeah. you're married great all right so you're divorced okay good. Yeah, yeah 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 so, so i can tell by looking at this guy he's uh, he's looking at me like he's married no no he didn't he didn't he didn't even look at you he didn't he didn't do that uh yeah who, who makes you laugh uh i'm a graw i mean well yeah yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely yeah, yeah. Uh, when he repeats host. my jokes back to me uh <laughs> yeah, and doesn't give me credit for it. that uh no i uh I'm a big fan of uh, Tommy Jonigan, uh, who's a, a, uh, he's out in LA, but he's a St. Louis guy. Right. Uh, Kathleen Madigan, uh, yeah, big, big sure. fan of hers. Uh, honestly, probably the biggest influence on me over my career, Bob Newhart. Uh, hmm. a big, big fan of Bob Newhart. Uh, I worked with uh, Suzanne Plachette once. Really? She was not very nice. Really? Yeah, I'll really? tell you a great story. I don't have time now, but I'll tell you. My later. dad's like that. That was like it's funny. My dad. Oh no, that's a good-looking woman. <laughs> <laughs> He's a big Suzanne Plachette fan. Yeah. Um, <laughs> in New York, do you run with other comics? Do you yeah. sit in coffee shops and yeah. and just talk about the craft? Yeah, kind of the best thing about being there is all the comics and yeah. And I don't know if we talk about the craft sometimes, but it's just you, you're just around funny people. Right. Mm. Yeah, yeah. When are you going to be on Jerry Seinfeld's comedians in cars drinking coffee? I don't. I don't know if that's gonna happen. Uh, Should I call Jerry too? Yeah, if you wouldn't mind. I'm gonna call yeah. Gotham and Jerry. Yeah, it's it's tricky because I drink tea. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's not gonna work. It, yeah, coffee ne- gives me it never gives me, be on gives that me show. Heart, heartburn. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, coffee does. It gives me heartburn. Oh, poor I know. thing. And like, I don't want to be the whiny guy. Yeah, you know. Jerry, I'm sorry. It's but I can drink you give tea. me some tea instead? Yeah, yeah, would you mind? Like, like I get I get heartburn and it, you know, it, like if there's if there's if you could somehow. Lower the acidity of the coffee, maybe. Like I don't know. Last question for you, Greg Warren. Sure. When you get tired of the road, yeah, and the hassle, and the this and that, do you, is talk radio in your future? You think sitting down in the same pot, and because what you do lends itself perfectly to something like it does. this. Yeah, I mean, but I mean, you, the money's not as good. You have some discipline in your life. I mean, it, you, well, I mean, you have to be, here, to be here every day, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you can't, yeah, yeah. yeah that, you can't. Yeah. That's a little tricky. Okay, right yeah. There. The show doesn't uh, start whenever Greg Warren shows up. Yeah, it starts at six. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's so a couple things. You have so to you're do. saying you got to be here, like every day at six. Every day at six. Yeah. Yeah. Well, 
See, now, I don't know how that's going to fly. Not going to happen. Yeah, huh? I don't know. Like, you could yeah. do an evening show kind of like Carney. I mean, if, if Carney can do it, anybody can do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 like, I, like how, I like John's hours back then. Yeah. Uh, have, you, um, have you called your good friend Tony La Russa and uh, congratulated him for his Hall of Fame career? I haven't, man, and I have his number. I try, I try not to bother him, but I really I, – uh, I do have his number, and I, that, that's pretty awesome, man. Yeah, absolutely. I, uh, I, uh, uh-huh. I mean, I, I still – you know there's a bar in, uh, in New York. It's like in Midtown – that um, it's called Foley's, and it is uh, a Cardinal bar. And during the playoffs, there's you can't get in. Like the, it's wall to wall red. Like nobody in there. Really? It's in, New, in the middle of New York City, it's the coolest thing, man. It's one of my favorite things about New York now. It's like mm. we've had a these Cardinal two, bar. Yeah, this car, we've had these two <laughs> playoff runs, but you go and it's like it's just like you're in St. Louis. Man. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty neat. Pretty neat. All right, yeah. Greg Warren. Look, you're always welcome here. We love you. We love talking shop with you. I think what you do is is one of the greatest art forms, and to stand up. Thanks, buddy. Stand up and make make people laugh is the hardest thing mm-hmm. to do in show business, and you guys don't get it. Well, that credit. getting up every yeah, at six that sounds pretty. Pretty tough. Yeah, too. but then, then I send it to traffic and weather, so that's yeah, okay, not that hard. Good. Yeah, so, right. yeah, now good. it's becoming more appealing. <laughs> right, Couldn't you just send it for traffic weather from your house and then... Uh, well, that's what Frank Opinion does. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't reached that level yet. <laughs> he's, he's, got, he's pretty much hit everybody in town. Yeah, yeah, he's pretty, he pretty, he's pretty much he nailed has. anybody in town. We might as well start taking on the TV networks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't get me started with Channel... Well, I don't watch Channel 4, so I can't say anything bad about him. Okay. Oh, you... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm boycotting because they fired Larry Connors. Yeah. Yeah. How happy do you think they and Channel 2 were when that Kirkwood thing happened? Do you think they were just looking at the TV? All right, everybody, just shut up. (laughs) Let this happen. This is the best thing that ever happened. Well, except for the fact that the week before, Channel 4 did a story on St. Louis Man Says uh, Snow is Radioactive. And they did a snow about how some nut job thought the snow was radioactive. So Channel 4 was hanging their head in shame. Is it, though? Kelly Jackson is it's not, above the fold it's here. Not, it's, I'm, it's not. It's not radioactive. <laughs> <laughs> the snow is deep. No, no. I'm not The the the, um, the uh, FDA said it was not radioactive. Okay, so okay, so okay. relax, okay. calm okay. down. Right, good. Greg yeah. Warren, funny bone, <laughs> all weekend long out here at Westport. Um, bring some friends. Bring some some family. You'll, you'll have a great time. Pick up the CD. Greg Warren, always a pleasure. Tell your dad. Uh, we love woodworkers around here, so really, we might have to bring him in. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, he's gotten pretty good. Yeah, it's, good. it's impressive. GregWarren.com is the website, but see him this weekend at the Funny Bone. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Eight fifty-three, Big Five Fifty.